everyone and welcome to another what I eat in a day on WW. I thought I would film one of these again it's been a little bit since I've filmed one and a lot of you guys like these. Uh, today I'm starting this one off in a little different spot typically I start these in the kitchen doing my or getting my coffee or tea ready. This morning I've already got that done and I am up here in my office. Now this is kind of a typical start to a lot of my days is I will get my coffee tea and my water and I will come up to my office and work on YouTube for a couple hours or so. So this morning I am editing a video. I will probably do that, like I said, for a couple hours. I'm gonna drink my tea, drink my water, and then that is gonna be it until lunchtime because I do intermittent fast. So I fast for 16 hours and my eating window is eight. That's typical, sometimes I go a little longer than that. But my lunches start anywhere from like 12 to 2, sometimes even 3. It just kind of depends on the day and what I've got going on. But my fasting window is a minimum of 16 hours, I guess you could say, to simplify that. But anyway, like I said, I've got my tea here. This morning I'm drinking just black chai tea. I didn't add anything into this, so zero points for that. And then again, I've got my water. And that is gonna be it. I'm gonna keep doing some editing here and then I will probably go down, get a quick workout in, but I will be back at lunchtime and show you what I'm having for lunch. For lunch today, I'm gonna be doing kind of a breakfast for lunch. I like doing that occasionally, especially since I intermittent fast and I don't ever eat breakfast. It's kind of fun to have breakfast for either lunch or dinner. So I've got some bananas here that obviously need to be used up. So I'm gonna be making some flourless banana pancakes. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of these before. They were kind of popular for a while. And it's mainly just bananas and eggs that you need to make these. I've got some other stuff over here. I'm actually gonna be following the uh, recipe on the Weight Watchers app. I like theirs, it's pretty good. So it calls for two medium bananas and then you're going to be using one and a half of them in the mix. I've got smaller bananas so I'm gonna just be putting in two small bananas into my pancake batter and then I'll reserve my last one to cut up on top, at least some of it. So I've got my two bananas in here. I'm gonna just mash them up with a fork real quick. All right, I've got those all mashed up. Now I'm gonna add in three eggs that I've beaten, about a half teaspoon vanilla, quarter teaspoon baking powder, just a little bit of cinnamon, a little nutmeg, just a pinch of salt. And now I'm gonna just whisk all of this together really well. These are not only a great way to use up bananas, but what I really love about them is that they are zero points for me because of the bananas being zero points, and then for me, eggs are a zero point food, so zero points. And these are the kind of things that I eat that actually kind of get me through my day and my very minimal 16 points that I have. When I eat this kind of thing, it really fills me up without using any points, so those 16 points can stretch. Okay, I've got that all whisked together, so now I'll take you over to the stove. And here I've got a large frying pan, and I'm gonna just spray it. A little bit of this non-stick cooking spray, olive oil. And then I'm going to take my batter here, and in two tablespoon amounts, just drop it into my pan. Now if you have a pancake griddle, which I do somewhere, I just don't like getting it out because it's big and bulky, but it is a whole lot easier if you have one of those larger griddles to just do all these at one time because obviously I can only do about three, maybe four if I stretched it in a frying pan at a time. But I'm gonna let those cook for a minute or two or until the edges kind of start to set and then I'm going to flip them. And I don't think I said, but I'm cooking these on medium heat. These are ready to flip. The edges 
are just starting to dry and that's how you can kind of tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and split these. And then I'm gonna cook them for another minute or so on that side. Okay, these are done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. Put them on a plate. And then I will do the rest of them and be back after that. And while I'm finishing up cooking my pancakes, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself up a real quick drink. I'm just making an almond milk espresso. I've got some almond milk I need to use up. So I thought that would be good. So what I have in here in this pint sized jar is a half cup of warm water. To that I'm gonna add a couple teaspoons of this espresso instant coffee. This stuff is really good. I use it in a lot of different recipes. I will put a link for this down below in the description box. Now that is an Amazon storefront link, so I may earn a commission if you click on it. I have to say that. Um, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons of this in my water. And then one teaspoon of the Trevia no calorie brown sugar sweetener. A little bit of vanilla, half teaspoon. And then I'm gonna just slap a lid on this and shake it up real well. I need some of those little snap on lids. I keep forgetting to order those. So I'm gonna just shake this up really well until that sugar is melted and everything's all combined in here. Got that all mixed up. And now I'm going to just fill this up with some ice. Put my lid back on. And continue to shake for, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute until that gets nice and frothy in there. All right, my camera cut me off as it likes to do. Um, but what I've got here is I have another glass that I just filled about a third of the way with ice. And then I just poured this in there. So now I'm gonna fill the rest of this with some almond milk. And that is my almond milk espresso. And this is zero points for me. I've got all my pancakes done. I've got 12 here. That typically makes 12 of that size. So in my frying pan, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Canadian bacon and I'm gonna just cook up three slices of that, which is a point worth for me. And here I've got my pancakes and my Canadian bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and top on the pancakes some banana slices and some sliced strawberries. And then I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit more cinnamon on this. You could add sugar-free syrup powdered sugar, whatever you want, but I like a little cinnamon on mine. And here is my lunch. So again, these pancakes are zero points. They're very filling. There's a lot of them there, as you can see. I might not actually even eat them all, but zero points for those. A point for my Canadian bacon, zero points for my coffee drink over here. And then I've also got my water that I'm drinking on. I drink on during the day. I try to drink at least one of these 64 ounce uh, hydro flasks, two if I can. But that is gonna make my lunch total for today just one point. For my snack today, I am having a couple boiled eggs and I just sprinkled a little bit of this everything bagel seasoning on them. One of my viewers told me to try that and I did and it's very, very good. I usually just put salt on mine, but they're very good with the bagel seasoning. So. My eggs are zero points because eggs are zero point food for me. I'm also having a cheese stick and that is two points. And that is these right here, the members mark. Light string cheese. So two points for that. I'm also having an apple, zero points. I have a bulldog making noises over there if you hear something strange. Um, and then here I've got a Major Melon Zero Sugar Mountain Dew for zero points. So my snack total for today is two points. Tonight is a leftovers night. I'm having some of this cheesy chicken broccoli quinoa. 
This is a serving of that, which is seven points. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite ways to uh, eat quinoa. So I make this one quite a bit. So I'm having that and along with it, I'm having some fresh carrots. And then over here is some dip that I'm gonna be dipping my carrots in. And that is just fat-free Greek yogurt with a onion soup mix packet mixed in. So I take about two cups of the fat-free Greek yogurt and mix that onion soup mix in it. And I let it sit for a few hours or overnight. And then you have a really yummy dip that is zero points, so at least for that amount. So zero points for my carrots and dip and seven points for my quinoa casserole here. That is going to make my dinner for tonight seven points. Also, I just showed making this in my last what's for dinner video. So if you wanna see how I make this, I will link that up above and down below and you can check it out. It is really good stuff. For dessert tonight, I am gonna have some of this Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn Popcorn. I love this stuff. I've been eating this for a long time now on WW. It really kind of hits the spot for, well, when you're craving something sweet and salty. I just really love kettle corn and this is really good for not a whole lot of points. It is five points for a serving and there are two servings in this bag. So I could just try to eat half the bag and count that as a serving. But knowing me, I will probably eat more than half the bag if I don't weigh it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just weigh out a serving, which is two cups or 28 grams. I'll just do that on my scale. And then that way you can see how much a serving is of this stuff. And then also what it looks like too. Because two cups to me always sounds like it's more than what it actually looks like. So again, measuring just helps to get it accurate. All right, that is 28 grams. And it's a decent size. And again, that is five points. So that is gonna be it for me for today. And I believe that's ending my day with 15 points used. So I've got one left. And as I like to say, I try to end my days either right at the 16 points or a little bit under. And that's just because I like to be super strict during the week with my points because I'm not on the weekends. I typically don't count points on the weekends and that is because I am in maintenance mode and that works for me. And I've been doing that for a long time now. I don't count on, on the weekends and I'm super strict during the week and that just works really well for me. It keeps me motivated during the week because I know that I'm gonna basically not have to worry about it too much on the weekend. But again, that's because I'm in maintenance. I didn't do that before. I did always have a cheat day, but now it's more like a cheat weekend. Anyway, that's a whole lot to say. I came in a point under my points for the day, and that was everything that I ate. As always, I hope maybe you guys got some ideas out of this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. <music>